stories. Santa Yoga versus Naughty Tabby. Once upon a time, in the chilly North Pole, lived a naughty little girl named Tabby. Now Naughty Tabby loved Christmas, especially all the presents that her parents showered on her, and also all the gifts that Santa brought her. But that wasn't enough for her. She wanted all of Santa's gifts just for herself. She dreamed many dreams of how she would be so happy when she had everybody's gifts for herself. She dreamed of how she would play with each and every gift, and how all the other children would be so envious of her. <coughs> it was Christmas Eve and she knew that Santa would be getting ready to give away all the gifts to the children of the town. She was not going to let that happen. So she decided to stop him. Now, Santa Yoga was very sharp. He knew about Naughty Tabby and her plans to steal his Christmas gifts. So, he prepared his elves, reindeer, and all his helpers with some secret yoga poses that would help them to get all the presents to every child without a hitch. Naughty Tabby entered Santa's workshop quietly and started to steal some gifts from a sleeping elf. As quiet as she was, Timba the tiger spotted her. But he was far away towards the other side. He then remembered to do the chair pose that Santa Yoga taught him. He felt his thighs and calf and spine become stronger. He then lunged across the room and roared at her. <coughs> Naughty Tabby then ran away to the Christmas tree forest so she could take away all the gifts from there. But Flora the Fox and Pippin the Panda were ready for her. They remembered to do the warrior pose that Santa Yoga taught them. They felt their hips and shoulders open up with a good twist of their spines. This helped them to bend backwards and do cartwheels and scare Naughty Tabby away. Naughty Tabby's next stop was Peppermint Mine. She looked at all the shiny gifts of peppermints and sweets and was ready to sneakily take them away. But Boxer Doggy had been sneakily spying on her. He remembered to do the bird dog pose that Santa Yoga taught him and felt the amazing stretch and stability seep into his paws. This helped him to grab the big trolley of peppermints and steadily wheel it towards Naughty Tabby, sending her running away. The next place that Naughty Tabby went to was Elf Village. Naughty Tabby hid behind the plants to get a good look at where the gifts were kept in the Elf Village. Although the elves were too busy to notice her, some children from her village saw her hiding. They remembered the bow pose that Santa Yoga had taught them and used it in a fun way. Because they practiced the bow pose, they now had strong tummies and legs and decided to throw snowballs at Naughty Tabby like slingshots. It was time now for Santa Yoga to start distributing all the presents to the little children of the town. Santa Yoga made his reindeer learn the downward-facing reindeer pose to stretch their hamstrings so they would be able to land on the rooftops with ease. After that, they took off into the Christmas night and landed gracefully on one of the rooftops. Naughty Tabby jumped towards them from another roof, but she couldn't land as easily as the reindeer and instead slipped on the snow and fell down. She wouldn't give up still and climbed back 
up a pipe and reached the rooftop again. By then, Santa Yoga had taken his bag of presents and was making his way to the chimney gracefully, doing the warrior pose. Naughty Tabby tried to be as graceful as Santa Yoga, but instead couldn't keep her balance and kept falling off. She climbed back up again, only to see Santa Yoga do the tree pose and slide down the chimney. She was furious now and jumped down the chimney after him. When she landed in the room, she noticed it was bare, with no decorations on the Christmas tree and no gifts under it either. Santa Yoga asked her to look into the other room at the poor children that were so sad on such a happy day. Santa Yoga told her that Christmas was about giving and sharing and she would feel much happier when everyone around her was happy too. Santa Yoga asked her to take a gift and give it to one of the children. She angrily took the gift and gave it very grudgingly to the child. The child's face lit up and he bounced up and down with joy. Seeing this, something happened to her. She felt like doing it again for another child, and another and another until the whole town got their Christmas gifts and were so joyful and happy. Naughty Tabby looked at the happiness all around her and understood the importance of opening her heart and allowing the true spirit of Christmas to enter. Santa Yoga beamed with pride at Naughty Tabby and settled in the lotus meditation pose to pray that peace and happiness should always prevail on earth. Thank you for watching this story. Do check out our other sparkle stories too.